Hey guys, Tress or Tressme here. Um, today I'm gonna be making a video on explaining how to power level CP and uh, how to make a little bit of money on the side while you're doing this. Now, uh, if you guys are looking into how to, you know, start cooking like beginner guides, this isn't probably the video for you, but I will probably make one um, in the near future just so you guys. Um, can take a look at it if you guys are just starting this game out um, but this is more of an advanced guide for those of you guys who are already um, you know that already know how to make beer and know how to make how to cook already on the side if you guys dabble in cooking a little bit um, but this is gonna be in depth and um, I'm gonna try to keep it as short as I can uh, just so you guys don't get bored but uh, first off let's run over the basics of, of what you're gonna need here um, so for those of you guys who don't know uh, that you guys will need the pearl shop item um, if we go to outfits here and we scroll down to the uh, cooking outfit the dark knight can canopy outfit. This is what I currently have this will give you um, a minus two second decrease on cooking time plus give you cooking XP of 15% um, So you will need to grab yourself the canopy outfit on top of that you're gonna need uh, cl cooks clothes I do recommend uh, plus twos to plus threes uh, you will uh, need teff bread teff bread will decrease your cooking time by 0 0.05 or if you know you can't get teff sandwich off the marketplace you can always settle for teff bread um, this will decrease it by 0.3 so you know you're losing a 0.2 from the teff bread but it's still uh, viable and as you can tell I do use it myself um, but I do also use Teff Sandwich. Now, on top of that, you do want to bring out your uh, suit tea. This is going to give you plus 8% on the life XP. Um, and uh, as you can see here, my cooking level is master 10, 30% in. Um, and I do a lot of life skills myself. So uh, let's hop into this. So uh, the recipe, the, uh, there's actually two recipes you want to spam. And the two recipes are your honey wine and your essence of liqueur. Now, Honey wine is really, really good, and I'll explain it a little bit further on in the video here. Um, but uh, honey wine is a good way to spam a lot of uh, byproduct dishes, which we're going to be doing here in a little bit while I'll explain this to you guys. Um, but also, uh, you're going to want to spam essence of liqueur, and essence of liqueur, uh, the reasoning behind that is uh, because you need essence of liqueur and honey wine. So basically, you spam essence of liqueur, and then you spam honey wine, and this way, um, you'll be power leveling your CP and your byproduct dishes, but you'll also be getting the addition needed to make the honey one, right? Um, so that's something that we'll look into here. Um, Honey one is also uh, really, really good um, for uh, Imperial crates, which we're going to run over um, a little bit later on in the video here. But uh, currently I'm using advanced cooking utensils, which uh, deduct my cooking time by one second. Now, for those of you guys who don't know how to make advanced cooking utensils, I set up my cooking workshop tool factory in Glish and the reasoning behind that is because I do a little bit I actually do quite a bit of alchemy myself so you're gonna need a tier 4 uh, tool workshop here and reasoning why you wouldn't need a 3 is because 4 requires is required to make advanced alchemy tools which I might make a video later on explaining how to make money with alchemy um, but for now, we're going to focus on the advanced cooking utensils, which need 20 polished stones, 5 usable scantling, 20 melted iron shards, and 14 blackstone powder. Now, what I recommend to get rough stone, as you can tell, I have 3,161 rough stone here. Um, what I would recommend to get rough stone, the best place, in my opinion, will be Pilgrim's Haven. Now, Pilgrim's Haven is just right of Sand Grain Bazaar. If you go a little bit further, Pilgrim's Haven is right here, and the node has a bunch of rough stone, which you can get and mine. So I usually sit there for about like 200, 400 energy, and I sit there and I burn all my energy, and I get myself the rough stone needed for my... Um, advanced cooking utensils and basically overnight you know it takes me 30 minutes uh, using a goblin to make one advanced cooking utensil so um, I usually just start it overnight while I'm sleeping and that way in the morning I do have you know a bunch of advanced cooking utensils to use now um, 
the thing here with honey wine and essence of liqueur, why I recommend using those is because essence of liqueur only requires one strawberry, one leavening agent, and one wheat flour. Now, that's because we're going to get a lot of byproducts for a a very insignificant amount of materials. So strawberries you can actually buy from a vendor in Calfion, leavening agent you can buy from the innkeeper, and wheat flour you can process use with your um, with your wheat here. I process wheat. All you do is take out some wheat. You click L to go into your processing tab, and you click your grinding. And basically you will select the wheat, which I don't have on me, but you will select wheat and then click start and then your character will start grinding wheat. So I'm going to quickly show you guys where you can actually buy yourself strawberries um, that are used in the essence of liqueur. Now um, I actually have the wrong production thing on. If you guys actually want to know how to pull up this little production thing where it, which it highlights your nodes you just click here on the top right and it says production node let's go back to general information go down to Calfion and the uh, strawberry vendor or I should say the fruit vendor her name is um, Milano Bellocini I'm fairly sure and she's right below merchant lane two to one room two so uh, she's you shouldn't miss her She's there, don't worry. Um, and she sells strawberries for, I think it's 700 or 750 silver a piece, which in my opinion, if you are wanting to power level your CP, um, it's not a bad idea to, you know, spend 4 million silver on 5,000 strawberries, which would make 5,000 um, essence of liqueur prereqs. And that would probably come out um, to about, well, I'd say 1,000... A thousand essence of liqueur prereqs gives you about 300 byproduct dishes. So if we take into account that a thousand strawberries makes 300 byproduct CP dishes, give or take, I'd say 250 to 300 just to be safe. Um, you're just going to be doing 250 times five, which, you know, is 100, oh, sorry, 1,250 CP dishes, uh, which a court well depending on you know your cp level could give you you know let's say 10 to 20 cp uh which is definitely a lot that can be used into uh that can be turned into a lot of nodes a lot of extra passive income here so so i did say that you were going to make a little bit of money with the honey wine crates now if we actually talk to this guy here um you want to talk to the imperial crafting delivery person there's one actually in almost every major city this one is uh calfions and he's right outside the calfion city um close to the mark across from the marketplace you want to talk to him imperial crafting and now daily delivery quantity this is something important you want to look at this is half of your cp so if you have 100 cp you could turn in 50 crates per day and that will reset at every reset point um, I could turn in 144 crates and the way the one crate you want to look for if you scroll down is of course the um, honey wine one now where if I could find it real quick here we go honey wine all right so there's nine remaining so this this number right here means that the delivery guy right here takes a certain amount of of crates per day of each type of crate as you can tell here master seafood pasta there's tw still 25 remaining this is only nine so for honey wine you'd get 190,000 silver per one crate now this is basically what you're gonna do you're gonna go back to your house I actually have a storage in my home um, here which makes it very very useful you're gonna grab yourself you know your honey wine you're gonna take that out you're gonna go back to the person over here you're going to click L to open your production tab and go down to Imperial Cuisine. Now, this is, allows you to make your uh, Imperial Cuisine crates. So you're going to right click on the honey wine. It's going to bring it up here. You're going to click start. Oh, I need two inventory slots. My bad. Um, let us delete the... Okay, you know what? No, we're, I, I think I have some crates already made that I can just show you guys real quick. You guys know the basis of how to... Um, get uh, or sorry, how to make the honey wine crates. So uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. All right, so let's just take out nine because that's you know how much is available left to turn in. And I'm gonna quickly put on my uh, trading clothes so that I can give myself a little bit more weight. All right, so let's go to the imperial crafting. 
let's scroll down to your honey wine and then you're just gonna click sell all and at the bottom we are going to get a little bit of money so two million silver right there for nine um, crates turned in which is definitely not bad it's a little bit of income for you and that was just nine crates obviously the higher level your cooking is if we go back to the guy over here I'll take a look with you guys um, I'll show you guys what you should be making to make a little bit more passive money milk tea crates really 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 good for money um, they sell for 437.5 K each really really good if you guys have the extra milk um, which you should be getting from from your byproduct dishes which I'll show you guys in a little bit here suit tea also another great um, cooking box uh, only available when you're master cooking so most of these are master cooking I wouldn't really suggest meat sandwich dark pudding ham sandwich they're sort of a waste of materials I wouldn't recommend the seafood pasta but honey wine you can turn in for money you can turn in fine scent boxes those are really good for money um, and also meat stew is great boiled eggs is great and fried fish is great now just keep in mind that these will probably be, be turned in um, right off the bat. This guy resets every three hours and there will actually be a notification popping up on your screen that says uh, something along the lines like Imperial Delivery Reset, Fishing Reset, which means that every three hours there is a 50% chance that your server, your city will reset and that's that's your chance to uh hop on that and sell your crates for a little bit of extra money now let's uh let's run over these byproduct dishes here just a quick refresher for those of you guys who are wondering about the milk here uh suit tea milk tea crates require a lot of milk but you want these strongly seasoned dishes and you could turn those in you can exchange three of them for one milk uh which is great now when you actually turn in your crates, you're going to be getting shiny golden seals of Imperial Cuisine. And these eventually stack up. You can turn in 250 seals for an ancient camel statue, which is um, its house furniture. And I would probably sell it because it gives a plus 9 AP boost, which a lot of people that do sieges and node wars buy a lot to have in their house. So that's an extra 4.5-ish million silver right there. If not, you can always save 400 seals for the Black Essence Cobelinus, which is also another gem that you guys might need in the future on your gear. All right, so before I wrap it up, just a few quick tips on a few other recipes that I spam for uh, easy CP, um, easy byproduct dishes that not every other cooking guide is going to recommend to you. Um, but uh, here we're going to take a look at the uh, the dressing here. So dressing is actually really good um, because it, again, requires less materials than any other recipe. Uh, it just takes salt, olive oil, and mineral water, which you can buy from the NPC or any sort of inn. Um, and then eggs. Eggs you can get from um, your, your chicken meat nodes, which uh, I'll show you guys here. If we go to Velia, uh, you have one in Bartali Farm here, and you also have one in Finto Farm. So uh, you can grab those two with Velian workers. And then also, I forgot to mention the honey, the cooking honey that you need from Alejandro Farm, left side of Heidel. You can use a Heidel worker for the honey wine there. Um, so yeah, I sort of forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. Um, but uh, you can also make vinegar. Vinegar also I recommend because again, just one strawberry, just one corn. Um, I use corn, but now I use wheat a lot because I have a ton of wheat as you guys saw earlier in the video. I had like about 100,000 wheat. Um, so you can always use wheat, you can use corn, you can use barley, um, any grain. Um, any sort of grain, I'm fairly certain. And then it takes one sugar and one leavening agent. Again, not a lot of materials for some easy, easy byproduct dishes. Other than that, um, I'd probably maybe suggest exotic herbal wine, um, barley dough, very, very easy. Well, any sort of dough, you just take mineral water um, and you take the wheat, which you made from processing. You click L to go into your tab and you go into shaking. You throw down the mineral water and you throw down the wheat and then you shake them together and voila, you got uh, you got yourself some dough. So I'd probably make ex exotic herbal wine. It uses essence of liqueur which um, you're going to be spamming a lot of. So uh, there's definitely quite a few recipes out there that do use essence of liqueur. Um, so you can easily make this. And again, all the other uh, leavening agent and mineral water bought from NPC. 
beer another one if you have a lot of potatoes like i do i uh, definitely use those potatoes up and um but beer is the thing is if you don't have a lot of weight uh you can't really hold a lot of beer materials so it so you'll have to like stop cooking get materials then come back to your cooking utensil and i find that's a little bit of a waste of time money time is money um in this game it really is um so I'd probably not de like you know suggest beer to spam for byproduct dishes, but you should always be cooking beer because you need beer for your workers, of course. Um, other than that, I'd probably say that's about it. Um, I wouldn't really recommend anything else to spam. Um, maybe boiled bird eggs if you really have the extra eggs, um, but other than that, uh, yeah, that's I'd probably stick to honey wine and essence of liqueur. Um, make those crates make melty and suti whenever you can sell those in for a little bit of extra passive money and then of course you know the dressing and the vinegar probably my top four anyways guys uh that's about it i'm going to be wrapping up the video here if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more content here in the near future be sure to subscribe like this video share if you guys you know if you guys have a friend that's sort of starting out with bdo or you know is already playing bdo but still wanting a little bit more for in-depth guides uh, feel free to let them know that I make these sort of videos. Um, I will be coming out with more life skill videos in the near future, how to power level master cooking, how to trade, stuff like that. So uh, stick around, guys, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.